Hi there, and welcome to Virtual Trainer. This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to www.biznet.com.au. What we're going to look at in this video is how you can use a dashboard with Virtual Trainer, which is a FileMaker database. What we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at one of the projects, which is called How to Use a Dashboard. If we click on the project, we can see that there's three tasks attached. If we click on one of the tasks, we can see the items within each task. If we click on items up here, it shows us all of the tasks and all of the items. And you can see using the view in FileMaker here that we can actually get a bit of an overview on how we're going. You can see that the first half of the project is complete. And this task here is in progress because not all of the items below have been finished. If we were to tick them off as finished, then we would see that the overall task becomes completed. Now these are all uh, FileMaker uh, functions. Um, what we can do in this video though is have a little bit of a look at how this is going to appear in an Excel dashboard. So what we're going to do is click on this dashboard button and one of the important things here is the program selling is to make sure that cube.xls is closed. And that's because FileMaker is about to create that file. So we make sure that the spreadsheet called cube.xls is actually closed. And there it is. So let's now click on OK. It's recreating the cube file and asking us, do we want to reopen the dashboard? And we do. So it's reopened the dashboard and now, as you can see from the watch on the screen, um, it's updating the dashboard for us. And now we can get a bit of an overview on what's happening with this project based on our Excel dashboard. Uh, we can see, if we scroll down a little bit, that we've got a pie chart here showing us that 44% of our tasks haven't been started, 43% are complete and 13% are in progress. We can see from this accumulated chart over here that we started the project fairly poorly and we were behind the target. But then uh, in about a quarter of the way through, we started to pick up and we can see that we've been going well against the target and now we've dropped off as we're waiting for the project to finish. At the bottom here, we see a Gantt chart and we can see that for this particular item here, uh, we've used up all of our time. There's a few items early on where we only used up a portion of our time and maybe we need to go back to those or maybe we can just continue on through the project and we can see that none of these tasks down here have been started. So there on our scorecard is a Gantt chart, an accumulated line chart showing us performance against forecast or target, so a pie chart showing us the progress and at the top here we've got a summary of the entire project. We can see that through our KPI which stands for Key Performance Indicator that we're doing fairly well with money in the project and our skills are looking okay. Overall, the project's not bad. We've got an okay score of 69%. And if we look at the details here, we can see that in the area called forecasts, we've got a 67, and in charts, we've got an 81, and in the intro, we've got a 36. These bright red uh, cells, we can see here, it means that they're performing poorly. And it basically means that in that first intro task, we've spent more money than we should have. And in the forecasts, we've spent more time on it than perhaps we should have. And over here we see a 3D column chart showing us that same information. Um, as you can see, the money performance here at the front is very low and that's for the intro. So this whole uh, scorecard gives you an idea on how you can actually, I'll go into print preview, because you can actually print these out and have them automatically distributed to managers on a daily basis. There's how it would look. Um, if we were to print it out, I'll make that a little bit smaller for you so you can see it on the video. There we go. So that's a scorecard that would get printed out each day, giving project updates. But of course, you can use these dashboards not just for projects. You can use them for managing sales or forecast or just about anything in your business. If we go back to the scorecard, there's another little feature that we've got here. Even though it's Excel, you can actually build in navigation. So you can click on Analyze Data with a Pivot Table. And now we can come in here and what we're seeing is there are three types of people, a manager, a knowledge worker, and blank, which means a person hasn't been attached. And here we can actually take things off the pivot chart and uh, put them back on. Let's have a look at the fields that are available to us. Um, we might want to double click on introduction and drill into that by showing, let's say, the event names. And it does that for us just for introduction. Or if we click on the whole area, 
we can look at the events for all the tasks. And there's plenty of other fields that we can drill into as well. And you can look at more of the videos in Virtual Trainer to get more details on that. We'll return back to the scorecard. And you can, of course, uh, analyze data with pivot charts as well. And here it's handy, you can very quickly change a 3D line chart into a two-dimensional line chart, which means you can come in here and add trend lines. We'll use a polynomial and we'll show the equation. And if we make this equation a little bit bigger, you can see that what you would be able to do is have some real data in your business create a trend line which, as you can see, fairly closely matches the actual data, but it gives you a formula. And you can copy and paste that formula into Excel spreadsheets or into cells and create forecasts in a matter of seconds or minutes if you want them even looking good. So that gives you an overview of why you may want to use uh, an Excel dashboard with a scorecard at the front and pivot charts and pivot tables to analyze the data. If you'd like more information on this and get a better idea on how you can use Excel to create dashboards, feel free to look at more of the videos in Virtual Trainer.